Here in Kibera, Kenya's largest slum, piles of trash build up along railway tracks and roads. Authorities have not been collecting it, so it's now up to the locals to take matters into their own hands. One of them is local artist Otieno Gomba. He has an eye for what many would regard rubbish, and he even pays to get the best pieces collected by others, hoping that the little he spends would end up bringing folds more than what he paid for. Gomba then takes his haul back to his studio at the Masai Mbili Art Center. He then sets on to work on his next piece, twisting and bending the metal into shape. A person who does not live in Kibera thinks that Kibera is a bad place. But those who live there are in heaven. Basically, they're going about their lives. So I use junk to show people that something that is rejected can be used to make something new that I can share with everybody. Gomba co-founded the art center. As a boy, he had a keen interest in art, but when his guardian could not afford to take him to art school, he decided to be a sign painter in Kibera. Then after a few years, he started creating art pieces. And that growing passion ever since has seen his art sold in museums and in art galleries in Kenya and in Europe. Otieno Gomba is an artist who's been in the art scene for a while uh, as a community artist working um, in a collective that's pretty well known, especially in the German circles and in the European circles. Um, they've created work that is already in collections in um, various museums. Um, they have had residency projects and programs internationally. Um, he probably would be able to sell an art piece here close to 100,000, 150,000 shillings, based on size also. Um, and if in a couple of years could easily resell it for half a million. The Masa Mbili Art Center has also helped rehabilitate some of the youth in the slum. Kevin Irungu used to be a gambler at the space outside the Masai Mbili Art Center. Through his friendship with Gomba, he slowly started appreciating art and joined the artists at the center. I was thinking about meditation because in the slum, people have a different form of meditation from yoga. When someone is eating cat, they say that they are meditating. It's a joke, but I wanted to open a school where people can stop taking this drug and take up the real meditation that is yoga. I'm sure it cannot work in Kibera. So it's a joke, part of the daily life in Kibera. If you have passion for what you're doing, whether you're in Kibera or anywhere else in the world, then you need to have the courage to show it. Otherwise, you can have the passion but you do not do anything with it. My passion has given me reason for leaving. So someone needs to discover that passion. From garbage to gold, Gomba's story is one that tells of an Africa that strives to create endless possibilities for its people. Leslie Murungu, CCTV.